Welcome to Mohan Classes. In this video, we are going to talk about the trigonometric ratio. This is for 10th standard and part 1 video. Let us start. What is trigonometric ratio? Trigonometric ratios are the ratios of the length of sides of a triangle. These ratios in trigonometry relate the ratio of sides of the right triangle to the respective angle. Here in this triangle ABC, angle A, we are going to represent with respect to angle A the sin, cos, tan, cosecant, secant and cot angle of A. Here AB is the side adjacent to the angle A and BC is the side opposite to the angle A. AC is the hypotenuse. There are six main ratios of the trigonometry. What are they? Sin here, sin A, cos A and tan A. What is sin A? Sin A is opposite side by hypotenuse. Sin A is opposite side by hypotenuse. A is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. What about cos A? Cos A is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. Tan A opposite by adjacent. What is cosecant A? Cosecant A is 1 by sin A, inverse of sin A that is equal to hypotenuse by opposite. Similarly, secant is equal to 1 by cos A, adjacent by, I mean hypotenuse by adjacent. What is cot A? Cot A is equal to adjacent by opposite. Understand? So, the same only we are given, sin of A is equal to side opposite angle A divided by hypotenuse, cosine is equal to side adjacent to angle A divided by hypotenuse, tangent of A is equal to side opposite to angle A divided by side adjacent to angle A. Then cosecant is inverse of sine, hypotenuse by side opposite to angle A and secant is equal to hypotenuse divided by side adjacent to angle A. Cot of angle A is side opposite to angle A divided by side adjacent to angle A. Clear? So, here with the respect to the length of the triangle with right angle, one angle should be right angle here, angle B is right angle. So, that is very very important. Now, let us do the trigonometric table. What is trigonometric table? Trigonometric table means we will get the value of sin 0 and then sin 30, sin 45, sin 60, sin 90. How to remember this table? It is very simple. You start with 0, 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 3 by 4 and 1. You take the square root of 0. Square root of 0 is 0. Square root of 1 by 4 is 1 by 2. Square root of 1 by 2 is 1 by root 2. Square root of 3 by 4 is root 3 by 2. Square root of 1 is 1. You reverse the order for cos theta. So, cos 0 is 1. This is root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2 and then 1 by 2, 0. Sin 9, cos 90 is 0. Then what about tan theta? Tan theta is equal to what I told? Sin theta by cos theta, tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta, 0 divided by 1 is 0, 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 is 1 by root 3, 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2, 1, root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2, root 3, 1 divided by 0 what? We cannot define it, so it is undefined. Here, now how to find the value? Suppose if you are having the question like this, sin 45. 
So, sin 45 means what is sin 45? 1 by root 2. What about cos 45? Cos 45 also the same. 1 by root 2. What about tan 60? Tan 60 is root 3. So, these values are very very important when you are doing some sums for find the value, evaluate sin 30, cos 60, like that. Okay. Let us do some exercise. Here, in triangle ABC, right angled at B, the angle is right angled at B, AB is equal to 24 centimeter, BC is equal to 7 centimeter. Okay. First, let us draw the diagram, right angle at B. So, it is angle B, it is A, it is C, AB 24 centimeter, BC 7 centimeter, because angle, what we have to find out, sin A cos A, that means this angle we have to find out, sin A, what is sin A? So, before going for sin A, we have to find out what is AC. So, what is AC? AC is equal to square root of 24 square plus 7 square that is equal to root 625 will come that is equal to 25. The AC is equal to 25. Now, we find all the three sides of the triangle. Now, we have to find out what is sin A. So, sin A is equal to opposite by hypotenuse that is BC by AC. BC is 7, AC is 25, 7 by 25. What about cos A? Cos A is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse, AB by AC, right? So, that is equal to 24 divided by 25. So, what about cos C? Here, we have to change the angle. Here it is C, right? A, B, C. The angle is now A. Here it is the opposite side, 24. AB is the opposite side. Now, BC is the adjacent side. Now, what about sin C? Sin C is equal to opposite, AB by AC, right? So, that is equal to AB is equal to 24 divided by 25 because I part news is 25 centimeter, right? So, what about cos C? Cos C is equal to adjacent by I part news, 7 divided by 25. So, these are all the ratios like that we have to do it. So, first thing we have to draw the diagram. In triangle PQ or right angle that Q. So, the triangle is right angle that Q. So, it is Q, it is right angle. Here what has given? PR plus QR is equal to 25 and PQ is equal to PQ is equal to 5 centimeter. It is 5. So, PR plus QR, what has given? PR plus QR is equal to 25 centimeter. So, what about QR? QR is equal to 25 minus PR, right? So, what about QR square? QR square is equal to 25 minus PR square. So actually, what is QR square? QR square is equal to PR square minus PQ square, right? So, PQ is 5, right? So, that is equal to PR square minus 25. Now, equate this 1 and 2. So, 25 minus PR whole square. What you will get? 25 minus PR whole square. 625 plus PR square minus 50 PR is equal to PR square minus 25, right? PR square, PR square will cancel. This 50 PR, we will send it to right hand side. That means 50 PR, 50, 50 PR, is equal to what you will get 625 is minus 25 will come this side right 650 therefore 
PR is equal to 650 divided by 50. So that is equal to 13. Now we got all the three sides. PR is 15, so it will be 12, right? 25 minus 13, you will get 12. Now it is easy sin P, cos P, tan P. Here it is the angle. So what is sin P? Sin P is equal to 12 by 13 and then cos P is equal to what? Adjacent by hypotenuse, right? Pi by 13 and tan P is equal to opposite by adjacent 12 by 5. Understand? That's it. Let us go to the next. Here, they are given the value of cot theta and we have to find the 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta all divided by 1 plus cos theta and 1 minus cos theta. We have to find the value of sin theta and cos theta. What is cot theta? So, let us draw the diagram. Let us make it as theta. A, B, C. Okay. This is theta. This is opposite side. So, what is cot theta? Cot theta is equal to adjacent by opposite, right? So, that means 7 by 8. Adjacent, it is 7, it is 8. So, what about AC? Now, AC is equal to square root of 8 square plus 7 square. So, that is equal to 64 plus 49, that is equal to root 113, right? AC we got root 113. Now, 1 plus sin theta, what is 1 plus sin theta? 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta whole divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta, right? It is A plus B into A minus B. Similarly, A plus B into A minus B. That is 1 minus sin square theta. Here, 1 minus cos square theta. 1 minus sin square theta is equal to what? Cos square theta, right? And 1 minus cos square theta, 1 minus cos square theta is equal to sin square theta, okay. So, that means it is cot square theta, already you know cot theta, right, 7 by 8, therefore cot square theta is equal to 49 by 64. Here, without finding this AC, we can do the sum. We have done it for you means, suppose, if, if you want to find other ratios, it will be, we have to find the three sides. For any ratio, if you are having three sides of a triangle, then it will be easy for you to understand. For this, it is not necessary to do it, but we have done it. So, you can directly do this one, two, three, four steps. Okay, but it is also very useful for finding some other ratio. Okay, let us go to the last one. Here, secant theta has been given. The value of secant theta has been given and we have to find the other values. Okay, let us draw the diagram. It is a triangle, it is 90 degree. Let us have this angle is theta A B this is opposite side and this is adjacent this is hypotenuse. So here secant theta opposite side has been given as so let us do secant theta secant theta is equal to 1 by cos theta right 1 by cos theta means 1 by adjacent by 
opposite side that means it is secant theta will come as 1 by adjacent by hypotenuse right so that is equal to hypotenuse by adjacent that is equal to 13 by 12 so here hypotenuse has been given as 13 adjacent has been given as 12 so what is ab so ab can be found like that square root of 13 square minus 12 square that is equal to 169 minus 144 so that is equal to square root of 25 that is equal to 5 so ab is equal to 5 ab also we got it as 5 now we got the three sides so what is sin theta sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse right opposite by hypotenuse 13 cos theta cos theta is adjacent to 12 by 13 tan theta opposite by adjacent to 5 by 12 what about secant cosecant theta cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sin theta 13 by 5 secant theta is 1 by cos theta right so that means 13 by 12 cot theta is equal to what 12 by 5 clear this is the way to find the ratios of the triangle so for finding the ratios of the triangle you should know the three sides of the triangle according to the angle opposite side adjacent side and hypotenuse we can know it if we know the adjacent side which is opposite side and hypotenuse then we can do all the ratios that's it for the day if you like this video kindly share it to your friends and don't forget to subscribe and give your likes thank you